Hello and welcome to the Matt Man's advice video from Matt's Direct. Today's topic is electrical safety matting. So why do we need electrical safety matting? This is to protect anyone that's working on a live switchboard and whether that be on a vessel at sea or whether it's something um, much smaller like a uh, lift cabinet inside a hotel. Um, you would stand on that and it basically protects you from having an electric shock, uh, which is obviously very uncomfortable. So what types are there? There are generally um, three types of specification for electrical matting. Um, you've got the American specification, which is ASTM, and then you've got the European specification, which is IEC 61111. And they have um, secondary specifications, i.e. things like class zero running right the way through to class four. The differences between these are basically the amount of uh, voltage that they can withstand from the actual switchboard. So it ranges from anything from 415 volts right the way up until 50,000 volts. Um, all the specifications should be stamped permanently within the matting itself so that you always know what the specification of the product is that you're actually using. And when it comes to replacement, there's no specific time. Generally what, what, what is accepted is that when the matting shows signs of wear, then it's time to replace it. And that's dependent on how much work is being done on it in the first place. So now let's move into having a look at some types of um, electrical matting with the specifications already stamped on. So, the examples of IEC 61111 electrical rubber safety matting. And as you can see, these are impregnated with the details of the matting itself. So, what you've got here is the IEC mark, you've got the proof voltage, you've got the working voltage as described earlier, and the withstand voltage. And this particular uh, product um, is obviously tested to 50,000 volts. This is another version. This one is um, working voltage of 1,000 volts. So this is class four and this is class zero. And obviously there is also class one, two and three. Um, it's generally done in gray and when you're ordering this material, you're purchasing this material, make sure that it's always stamped all the way down the roll with this information and you get a certificate of conformity to go with it. We hope you found this video useful. To keep up to date, why not follow us on Twitter at Matt's Direct or visit our website at www.mattsdirect.co.uk. See you next time.